Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, where Thomas Lava is going to take care of Rabbit, who got uh, brutally attacked by that uh, that killer squirrel. Let's see, health, what do we have? We got a bite on the right arm. <laughs> he slowed down when he got bit, and you know, it almost came to a stop, and I was certain that meant there's the squirrel right there. He's being butchered as we go. <laughs> Yeah, there's the offender. I thought that he'd gotten bitten on the leg or something when he slowed down, but apparently it was just a, uh, you know, shut him down until, uh, or, you know, during the attack. Anyway, Tomislav, I need you feeding meal to rabbit. Now, I need you in bed. You're going to rest until healed. Looks like uh, Sangria and Shantigo. There you are. You guys are pretty much running the colony right now. Uh, you are hauling insect meat to stockpile zone 3. Oh, that's no longer a stockpile zone where that wall is. Is that what I'm getting? So you're going to move it from there back to there. Okay, that's not as important. How about you tend to feeding rabbit? And let's see how everybody's doing. Needs. Yeah, rabbit needs food. Handy needs food. Klaus needs food. And Tomislav already got a good meal. He's going to go get into his sick bed over here and, and uh, call it a night. By morning, rabbit's fully healed. Just like that. By morning... I would imagine Handy and Klaus will both be fully healed. The only two things going on there. 38 out of 40 on that one, so that's almost done. And 29 out of 30, so she's almost healed. Klaus is in much worse shape. Yeah. <laughs> but he'll be fine. Bort, how you doing? Um, in fact, before I, before I ask, answer that question, let's get you to feed Handy. And Sangria, you are hauling fine meals. Thank you. You can drop them right there, and you can feed Klaus. All right. Now, Tomislav, you did grab a meal. Yep. Yeah. So that's what I remembered. Okay, so that takes care of everybody. Now, we're going to be telling them to go to bed soon. But, you know, Handy's been sleeping for quite a while already. <clears throat> so her rest is going to end at, you know, like midnight. So she'll be up and... Their sleep schedule is going to be off for a while. Let's put it that way. Which means she'll get some work done around here. Hmm. <clears throat> now, we got to figure out what work done means. Um, Quiet Mirth <clears throat> had asked in the comments, is it about time to start thinking about a defensive wall? Some kind of a gauntlet system. And really it is. If you look over here at the date, it says that days passed since your arrival 13. We're coming up on two full weeks into the game. It's about time the game starts throwing some a little more serious stuff at us. So <clears throat> a defensive wall in here somewhere. Um, animals, the grazing area is right there. That may have to be reworked because I think the easiest way to defend us would be from this corner to this corner. Build something in here. Though the game doesn't work very well with diagonals. Here's Handy. So Rabbit is back to normal. Handy will need this turn in, taken off of a medical bed and reassigned to her. Uh, right there. Meanwhile, you are repairing. Was that what you were doing? I didn't see that. There was nothing to build. So that must have been a repair. I mentioned last time repair is no longer in the list. So I assume it's just uh, top end of the construction tab now. You're now relaxing socially because your joy is, or beauty is, no, joy. Wasn't as low as I thought. But it was low enough to, to trigger you. Okay. So while they're busy doing that, need to think about this. Need to think about getting power to our beacon over here. So we can, that's not a beacon, that's a steel knife. Orbital trade beacon, so we can start communicating out there and get more medicine coming and other supplies that we don't have. Um, hey, most of the food's been brought in. That's impressive. Though I could use, maybe handy if you could come pick this up and put it away. Equip? Yeah, equip. I see you don't have a weapon right now, so I better do that. Um, any other weapons get dropped? Klaus was not downed. It was only Tomislav that was downed. That's actually Tomislav's gun there. So Klaus still has his weapon. Um, why does Handy not have a weapon? You think about that. What, what happened back then? Because she was in bed and Rabbit traded with her. So her weapon was left here, then it was hauled off over to here again. Yeah, it's, it's in this area. Okay, that explains that. So anyway, we need to get blocks built, which means I need Handy to... And she is meditating. Now she's building a grave. Let's build this instead. Need wood. Okay. 
Then, whoa, game pros. There we go. Don't do that to me, game. <laughs> As the game gets more complex, I worry that uh, we could freeze up. But anyway, I think I want her to work on this through the night. Let's shift her temporarily to a plant cut of one and reassign her into here to make some wood so that we can get some of these things done. We need to get blocks, probably granite uh, chunks, turn into stone blocks. We can build this wall out of this. And I have to have a, a granite block in inventory first before I can start using it to lay out the, uh, the pattern here. So that's going to be a problem. We could build it with wood first. That is one tactic I usually use. Put up a wooden wall and build a stone wall behind it. So if we were to do something like that, what would we do? Instead of trying to do diagonals, which doesn't work, we could shoot across something like that. Now, essentially the way a gauntlet works is you can't, you have to have a, a way in at all times, not blocked at all. In fact, if you do block it, the game, well, okay, if we blocked this and blocked this, which really is a problem, it really is. There's an access way into us no matter what we do, isn't there? Hmm, but had these be blocked, been blocked, and we put a door there, the game would count this whole thing as a room and try to roof over all the edges and, and it would not go well. But normally a gauntlet would do something like, oh, we'll say something like that. Take out this. Make them walk through there and then do something like, let's see, you're going to go out to about there and then you're going to come back up to here. So enemies, it's already daytime again. Well, I never get a chance to talk before rabbits out hunting again. Enemies have walked through this whole thing, come in right here where we're either have turrets set up to shoot at them or we're all set up behind sandbags to shoot at them. Meanwhile, there's traps and other things in here that has taken them out before they come through. Then we would drop in a door there so we can go out on our own. Maybe a door there and there so we can go out on our own and maybe a, a door there and there. So we would just naturally go through the doors. We wouldn't need to walk the gauntlet ourselves and try not to trip the traps. So there's one way to, to set up a quick, easy defense system. Um, best not to do it out of wood if we can avoid it, but... Uh, well, you made a short order of that one. So we're going to have uh, wild hog uh, pants soon. And he's taking these out good. Um, let's get somebody else to take the rest of them out. Handy, let's take you back to a two there so you can get into... Uh, just looking things over here. Who's... Klaus and Tomasov, that's all that's left, right? Yeah, this is now Klaus's bed again. Uh, someone else to do that so you can get back into construction. Okay. Rimworld just threw a twist at me again. A friendly AI from your past named... Charlon Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you to its world uh, its world coordinates. The starship is currently in deep hibernation mode. You'll have to start it up when you arrive, then defend it from raiders trying to steal it until the start the startup sequence completes. Well, this is quite a involved story they came up with. If you can get the ship off the ground, Charlon will take you off this room world to the stars really so this is our escape path from the uh, from the planet jump to location whoa <laughs> first of all um okay so we're down here on i need this doesn't go into pause when that happens we are blue we are blue see i've got to use center mouse here so that ship is there the flag okay we are hello let's go up this way looking for blue not the purple or violet but an actual blue house we are not even in this hemisphere we're up in the other northern hemisphere aren't we there we are you know what it would take um yeah to get to that ship to escape we'd have to head all the way through here through here, we're going to assume this is the size of planet Earth. That's, that's, that's a 10-year walk. 
not going to happen. Okay, well, well, thanks for the uh, the escape route, uh, Rimworld. Appreciate that. Okay, where were we? <laughs> Back to reality. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, boar skin, we need to get these cut into... Do we have 50 of anything? We have 45 of turkey leather. One more turkey and we can make the next shirt. That's really what we're heading toward. Okay, and the next pair of pants. And we've got meat now once we get uh, these two butchered. How much meat is in one of these guys? Right there. Not meat, but uh, leather. Meat amount. Why am I not? There we go. Leather amount 25. So these two alone will X. There we go. We'll make uh, a piece of clothing too. Okay. So we need to get the butchering going with those. But I need someone else to be doing this so that... Did I ever get that done? I think that's where I was. Got that done. So that Handy can not do a floor print, but you can get me this going. Um, need material wood. All right, this is a little frustrating. She's got it in her hand, but somehow it doesn't count. Go over here so you don't immediately pick it up. All right. There. Now you just stay a moment. See if the game will let me count it now. Uh, handy, you are selected. Right click. No, so we've got to get wood into a stockpile. Then it will accept that we actually have wood. So, Sangria is hauling to stockpile. Let's have you haul this just to make it official that we have wood. Once that happens, in Chantigo, can you... I can't tell you to butcher this boar. You can, I can only tell you to butcher you're going to butcher that bug. Okay, now, Andy, can you... <sighs> need material, wood. Okay. We need to go on a, a major deforestation program. That's really what it comes down to. How you guys doing? Tomislav. Uh, health. Hmm. Looking at numbers, 23 of 30. And that whole thing is 23 of 30. It's actually, it all counts as the same one. Okay, interesting. Uh, 28 of 30, that's almost healed. 30 of 40. So what do we have permanent here? Anything? We have a shattered rib, which I don't remember being there before, so I think that is new. Um, Klaus, permanent stuff, unless there is another scar of some kind. You're looking okay here, too. Uh, handy. Rabbit, no permanent. Handy you there. Nothing permanent. Sangria is doing fine. And who am I missing here? Handy Rabbit Shantigo is doing fine. Okay. So nothing to worry about there. But let's get some folks to just do some... We'll do one quick round of cutting a bunch of trees. And we'll do one quick round of hauling. And we'll do one quick round of cleaning. Yeah, that's one way to kind of get caught up on things when we don't have enough people to dedicate someone to just doing that job. So plant cutting. Let's do... Except for those who are injured. We're just going to do something like that. We're going to take out these trees here. We're going to leave these for now. But let's take out everything in this area. So architect, orders, and chop. Everything in there. And everything in our potentially new um, uh, llama or uh, alpaca pasture. Now, who was up here shooting? I assume it's a rabbit. And he is not taking out a rabbit. He's taking out a turkey, which we need to get that last garment made. So close. Got him. Okay. So that's that. There's not much more hunting queued up. Before I turned it on, I went back and found all the rabbits and turned them off. So Except for that one. Okay, I guess I didn't have the whole screen lit up. Um, turn off... Hit the cancel. Okay. So rabbits are off. We just have the one boar left and the turkey left, to my knowledge. And we do have the one alpaca hiding up here somewhere. I think he's still up in this area. There he is. And he's not set to tame. That is a long walk up there. I'm not willing to do that yet. Not willing to. If we, you can see how, how randomly Rimworld is throwing things at us. If Sangria is way up there and we get a raid coming in, that could not end well. We're going to let that alpaca naturally come down closer to us before we do it. Or we'll see what else wanders into the map. Okay. 
taking out trees. And, if, you know, we have the four of them doing it. These guys are still in bed. They are. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, do they need food? Needs, they do. Okay. Then, Rabbit, you are also consuming a fine meal. Shantigo, let's have you, because cooking is ahead of plant cuts. You ignored it completely. Okay. Then you can feed the, uh, the patients. As soon as you get done with this one, you're going to send this fine meal right on in here to... Tomislav. So prioritize feeding and then shift and do that one. Let's see if that works. Uh, there we go. Cued. There it is. Feeding Tomislav and cued feeding Klaus. All right. That works. Now, up in here, Rabbit, where are you? You are feeding Vort. Oh, great. I forgot all about Vort. How's Amelia doing? We've all kind of forgotten about Amelia. Boy, we have starving. Poor Amelia. Okay, we got to take care of Amelia. Um, Handy, you've got a good run speed. Let's make this happen right now. Yeah, we got to get her down to the other one. Um, delivering food to Amelia. And we got to get her down here. Yep. <laughs> um, well, I wanted to queue up and finish this little prison here, but no, we've got other things we need to do. So, cancel all this. Well, yeah, cancel it, just in case uh, um, Handy starts building it. So, orders, cancel, no. Cancel the walls. If I hit structure and cancel, no, that won't work either. It's not specific. So, I'll just take you down this line here. I don't want to cancel all those trees being taken out. Of course, I will cancel the ones that were actually in the path. All right, so let's queue up the trees again. Orders, chop. And everything in this area. Okay. All right. So with that, Handy is feeding. And we ran out of good meals. No, oh, there were two there. Uh, Shantigo is still cooking away. Sienna's wandering. I think she just delivered something. Klaus, health. Getting better. Needs you fed now. Tomislav, fed now. And... Hmm, by the end of the day, maybe? I, I, have a, I would imagine a lot of those are just one or two ticks away from being done. I think we're going to see a lot of them clear up all at once. All right. So Sean Diego's going to continue unless I tell him to stop cooking, and I really don't think I want to. Let's let him continue. Though, before you do that, if I could get you to butcher one more time, see if you would grab the pig. Yes. That should put enough of the, uh, what are we actually calling it? Boar leather? Hair leather. Actually, it's over here. Um, that's turkey leather. Pig skin. We're calling it pig skin. Okay. That should give us enough pig skin to give us a garment, which will trigger Handy to go back and work on, on that one. I guess after plant cut is done, though. Okay. So that's bringing in an awful lot of wood. It's enough to get us going again. So let's calm that one down a little bit. Take these back to twos. And he's going to immediately go and do some tailoring, I would assume. Otherwise, we're going to set hauling now to ones for everybody who doesn't already have a one somewhere else. So that cancels out handy. I'm going to leave that. We need the clothes. Um, Abbott is hunting again. He shot right through that rock. Now, that was impressive. I, I couldn't have done that. Another turkey. Oh, you're already triggered. Okay, so that was probably the last one on the map that's triggered. Last of all the hunting. Then we're done with that for a little while and get on to other things. Otherwise, back to what I was saying. Handy is out of the hauling, so I'll just... Yeah, I'll take that off. Um, Klaus, of course, didn't mean to do that. He's... Yeah, we'll do that. Um, Rabbit, yes. Uh, Sangria, yes, and Shantigo doesn't really do any good. It's just the two of them then. See how much of these, these, uh, this wood they can haul in. Rabbit's bringing that in, then he's going to get to work on that. Sangria is cheering up patient Klaus. Well, that's nice. Klaus, social, had a deep talk with Sangria. So Sangria is... Why am I, there you are. Plus 29. Needs. Extremely comfortable. Low expectations. Ate a fine meal. Yeah, those fine meals do help. So even though they're bedridden, 
still in pretty good shape mood wise so that's really helpful still very low expectations Prost the file has a bionic part so he's really happy about his bionic arm right what was that one health arm yeah <laughs> okay so handy is quickly making probably pants pigskin pants and it was she's not gonna eat huh because she has to get through her rest first really and it's not a thing I can do to disturb her and make her make this happen right well that's moving up quite quick if I were to click handy and right click the only thing I can do is strip her strip her clothes you know strip the prisoner and and take her out to you know end her or something but I can't do anything to actually help her let's see what happens when we hit the end of this I've got so many things on my list to do but there are so many interesting things in the game that you want to just take the time to watch what happens triggered the rest is going down now but she now she's up grabs a meal we're gonna get rid of this negative two rabbit you are doing what refueling the torch interesting okay which is doing what in here? Indoors, 91 degrees. It's probably not a great idea anymore. Outdoors is 90 degrees. So it's not adding that much heat then. It's just hot, getting hot outside. We're in summer. We're in jugist. Jugist. Made pants. All right. Zone. Storage. You now will have in here nothing but pants. Critical priority. And otherwise, this was set for meals. And we don't have any packaged meals anymore. Okay. So that will do that. How long do um, simple meals last outside of the refrigerator, I wonder? Don't really have one around to check. I want to know if I can leave 10 up there and not worry about uh, feeding her any, or forgetting to feed her anymore. How, ba how quickly will they rot? Um, gear. You do have one. I. Will this give me a clue? Deterioration rate 10 a day. So 10 days it goes down to zero, but five days it goes down to 50. 50 is not good either. Hmm. And I can't really put a limit on it. I can't say just bring two. Unfortunately, I can only put in a stack, and a stack is 10. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll just have to... Uh, to well how how close is Klaus now? Needs health. He's getting there. We're at 23 of 25 and 28 of 30 and 28 of 30. Okay, our warden is almost back on on the job again. What was that other thing? That was his burn scar. Yeah, that's the one that's not marked. Okay. And then Tomislav. 30 of 30. This one's gonna disappear probably while we're looking at it. 36 of 40, 26 of 30. And 28 of 30. So basically four ticks of whatever time that is. This is on its last tick right now. So it seems like I read once what that meant, but I don't remember what it is now. Okay, so back to micromanaging. Rabbit, you are doing nothing but hauling. Okay, I need you to do nothing but hauling these. Okay, Handy, where are you right now? You are busy making a shirt. Nice. Okay, did... Okay, that's right. Rabbit, instead, I want you to haul pants, pants, pants. Haul these. No, not force wear. There would be a hauling option here. Well, there weren't two pants, were there? No. Okay, let's see if I did this wrong. Clear all. Critical. Haul. Pants. I've got no sense of quality limitations. So, and that is set for critical. There's no doubt about that. Critical. Over here, we have pants. It's set for normal. I should be able to right click on that, and it would say take to stockpile because there's a better stockpile. Don't want rotten in there. So, why did that not happen? Weird. Okay, well, first of all, I need to cancel this order to wear those pants, but 
I'm a little confused here. I can go to the trouble of saying don't uh, allow pants in here anymore, but that's not going to correct it. Huh. Why can't I bring pants up there anymore? Is there something to do with it being a a prison? Hmm. I don't have that answer. Okay, well, when the shirt's done, we'll try that. Shirts. Let's see, work. 47 work left. 46 work left. Okay, so that bar is... Shantigo's at it again. You're just setting yourself up for a heartbreak here. Rebuffed by handy. <laughs> okay, pause a second. No more game going by until I figure out what we're supposed to be doing. All right. Catherine had mentioned that uh, she would rather go against mechs than go against those bugs that we went against. So, yeah, they, 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 are, they are troublesome. They don't go down as fast as you assume. you got a hail of bullets going at this thing, and it just walks right on through them and starts biting you on the ankle. So, yeah, that was, that was kind of rough. And let's see. Tony had uh, mentioned to remember the getting power to this beacon. I think I'm going to wait until the wall goes in. And then we'll set up a barn somewhere, maybe in here. Um, Sangre was, was was suggesting in here so that the same power source that could run this beacon could also run a heater in the wintertime for a little barn over here. And then move the, uh, what am I seeing here? Steel knife. Then move the, the, uh, the pasture area maybe down into here a little bit closer. That's a possibility. And this was supposed to be reset for strawberries at one time. Kind of forgot about that. But what I want to get done is I want Handy to make sure... Well, okay, take your fine meal. And, but I want to make in a t-shirt. I need to get this done. I really need to get stone cutting started. Although you're the only one that's got any craft skill, right? Craft. Handy. Well, Tomislav can do it. Okay. Hmm. Otherwise, we have Shantigo. So, do we cancel researching or do we cancel cooking? That's a problem. Hmm. Sangria is just constantly hauling, and there's one problem with setting someone to hauling, is you know as soon as they drop off a hauling job, they look around for the next closest hauling job. So I can't necessarily set people to hauling and trust that the wood's going to get brought in. I'm just going to have to to manually tell them to go and do that. Although I keep forgetting, as you know, this is, this is a new feature for me. I'm not not something that I'm used to yet. I could say then do this one, and then do this one and then do this one okay we're at 2100 though so i may have to cancel part of that and get too late but that's one way to to uh make sure that it, it gets done otherwise are we getting to the end of the meat no we've got a full stack there so handy is busy working on that shantigo just take the whole cannot haul no empty plate because you put that there okay put this away <laughs> there and then haul this one this is what should have happened with those pants because this is marked a critical even though this is in a storage spot there's a better storage spot so the priority you know the option to haul it is available why that didn't work then i don't know was it a timing issue or is it permanent let's have somebody just randomly so handy can you now haul this cannot haul superior no empty accessible spot configured to store it So is it because it is a prison? Pants. There's nothing I've done wrong here, right? This is officially called pants. Pigskin pants, superior. So pants in general. Storage, right here. There's no uh, breaking it down into what it's made out of. It's just pants. I could just say apparel in general. Do we have a way to offset offset it that way? Hall pigskin pants superior. Now it works. Okay, you guys are going to have to tell me what just happened there because I don't understand it. Shantigo's doing that. <clears throat> Handy. Yeah, you've got a good run speed. You're going to make you're going to go on this mission. Um right there. Haul those in. I need to know that that's actually going to happen. Sangria's busy already and you have got queued only showing one more cued. Your stockpile is pretty close. 
this is the critical stockpile. You're going to fill this first, and when that doesn't happen, then you're going to start filling this one. Okay, that's good. So, you are taking it to the right place. Really interesting. So, when that shirt gets finished, she's going to automatically head over here to you. Okay. Okay. Now, how do we do over here? Oh, we got it done. All right. Bills. Add bill. Scientist Vort is fully healed. All right. So, we've got a Vort. Needs. Not too bad. Needs some food. And if we do move the prisoner, then we can get food down here, and the two of them can definitely take out those meals in time to, to not spoil. Okay. In that case, that makes sense. Let's... This has all been mined out. Yeah. Mark these for hauling. And let's just take... Oh. I guess that spot right there, if it'll let me. Zone. Stockpile. Right there. This stockpile, let me get it again, storage, clear all. You're going to go to critical until we decide that that's too critical. And then we're going to go to food. We're going to go to meals and simple meals are going to go there. Okay. Let's see how that works. Um, Klaus is up. Klaus, I didn't see the message, but he is healed. He is feeding a fine meal to Vort. Actually, instead, I want you to haul these, this one, I can't haul. We're doing the same thing again. This is not set for critical, it's just preferred. This is set, can you not do it because there's a rock there? Could be, okay. Then continue what you're doing. We'll figure the meal thing out later. But I want to get a stack of meals in here and I'm still still confused as to why I can't get a meal into these places. Now, Amelia should be grabbing these pants and putting them on of, of her own will because we have naked negative six. She's not liking that. She's not a nudist. And she should be able to pick these up and, and wear them. I just have to wait for her to get the order. So wandering must last for a certain amount of time. Probably the same amount of time as one of those healing ticks. And then she'll get the new command to go and do that. Maybe. How should it otherwise, though? Needs pretty low. We finally got rid of the uh, starvation. Slept in the heat, though, is not good. Wearing worn out apparel is not good. Wearing worn out apparel. Need warm clothes. Yeah, we must have hit a new season. Um, that might be a thing. Because... Yeah she's already wearing pants. Maybe she's not willing to swap. Maybe Klaus will have to strip her, then she'll pick these up, and she won't be wearing worn-out apparel anymore. So that'll get rid of... Where'd that go? There it is. Negative three. So... Well, okay, I'm gonna have to let him do his thing here. If I give him the order, he may cancel the uh, the talking to. It'd be nice if she just uh, you know, accepted her invitation, but she's not in the best of mood right now. So it's very possible, very likely she won't. Still no... F oh, I guess she's already... Hmm, already eaten. All right, let's... While we still can... Well, we're at 0, 100 hours. Klaus is going to be up, though. He's going to be up for a while. Let's try putting one more zone in here. Stockpile zone. Put it right there. And this one... Stockpile. Copy the settings into this one. Changing the apparel to... Any meal whatsoever, just get a stack of meals brought up here. And we'll just call it done. And we'll do the same thing to that the other stockpile too. So once he's done, we get new recruit. It worked. I don't have to go through this anymore. Delete you. Delete you too. Stockpile. Right there. Delete. This room's going away now. Okay, now, good. And she put on the pants and got rid of these awful things. Perfect. Now, hmm, who gets to be the gentleman this time and give her a shirt? 
I think Klaus, that's just his character because, you know, he's he's kind. That's the sort of thing he would do. So, gear, Klaus, you're going to get rid of your brand new raccoon leather t-shirt, normal, 93%. Which, you know, it's got a couple of gunshot holes through it or whatever whatever he just had happened to him. Um, attacks, that's right. No, did he get shot? I know that uh, uh, Handy got shot a couple times. I don't know if Klaus did. But anyway, we're going to drop that. And... Amelia, you're going to pause for a moment, and you're going to hopefully pick it up on your own. You are consuming berries because you're hungry, okay? Force wear. All right. Now we're going to force you to come get a good meal. Uh, down over here, we got to get you a bed, too. So come down here and consume this one. And then what? I guess at this point, this is a Klaus bed. Um, oh, non-medical. There we go. Now this is a Klaus bed. And I, Tomislav is still, let's see, right there. Health, you're just about done. If I made that a Tomislav bed right now, I don't think that will disturb you, will it? Do that and do that. Okay. Does Amelia need rest right now? Not really. So after your meal, we could have you haul one of these. Let's see. Not for prisoner. And also not for medical. You are a good. You are a normal. So good, we could reinstall with... Probably with Handy. Right there. We'll make use of the same end table. Okay. That's going to go there. Tomislav is fully healed. Nice. That was good timing. He should have had all the rest he needs, right? Well, he's almost there. He really needs food, though. I think I'm going to wake him up. <clears throat> Come get this meal before we get to too much of a negative there. He's going to get a little bit of a negative from being woken up, but he's going to go even worse if he hits that negative 14 for being super hungry. So, um, come on over and grab one of those also. And hopefully you two can sit here and chat together. Get to know each other. So, new recruit. Klaus successfully recruited Amelia with a 9.6% chance. Okay. So, with that, let's let Amelia get a meal. Then, where am I at? 40 minutes into this? We'll go ahead and name Amelia this episode. I think. Cooler Breakdown. Uh, jump to, that is this guy, it's not critical. What is our temperature in here? We're seeing that it was in the 90s out there, although at nighttime it gets quite cool, it's already 66. Um, in here we are, where am I looking? Right over there, 66 and 66. This is outdoors. Why is this outdoors? What am I not seeing here? Build roof. Roof is in. Because this is broken, it counts as a break in the perimeter. No, this door was never finished. Uh huh. This doesn't actually need to be on. It's only drawing 12, 18 watts because, well, it is trying to heat us up. Target temperature is 70 and 66. Okay, let's just um, shut you down for, for the rest of the summer. Anyway, hmm. So a component will, will be needed to repair that. Sangria went to bed. Klaus is butchering. Good. More. He wants a shirt, so he's going to go get some more leather. And Thomas left finished his meal already. Amelia is going to come in, say hi, and pop in here, grab a meal. And there you are. And get something to eat. And I guess we can kind of get back to some kind of normal now. Now, this one, I decided I was going to... Where is it? There it is. Change you to any kind of food whatsoever and see if we can defeat whatever it is that's causing them not be able to haul a meal over there. Otherwise, Amelia, who are you? Let's get into Amelia. Um, character. Amelia is a abrasive, psychically sensitive, and a green thumb. And... A coma child and a glitter world surgeon and someone who has been on my list for a very long time. OK, 
Kethra is Amelia. Slightly abrasive, huh? Well, we'll have to work on that. Anyway, that is Kathra now, and welcome to the team. Let's see who Kathra is. Kathra was a coma child. A childhood accident put Kathra into a coma. She didn't wake up until she was in her late teens. Her body never recovered from the years of inactivity, but people tend to take pity on her when they hear her story. Social plus four, construction minus two, and mining minus two. Glitter World Surgeon. Kathra worked as a surgeon on a world mostly free of disease and human suffering. Her job mostly involved elaborate and creative cosmetic surgeries. She has a good understanding of human biology, but never had to remove a cancer or a bullet. So, hmm. Okay. So, she, she knows the concepts, but hasn't had the experience. I guess that's the way we read that. So, Glitter World Surgeon, Coma Child. Abrasive means what? Always says exactly what's on her mind. Especially if it's bugging her. Well, that's... I guess that... Yeah, okay. <laughs> that tends to rub people in the wrong way. <laughs> Psychically sensitive. Uh, her mind is unusually sensitive to psychic phenomena. Which I'm kind of surprised we haven't been uh, exposed to yet. So within an episode or two, I would imagine that's going to come up and that'll make more sense. Green Thumb, though, has a passion for gardening and gets a mood bonus every time she sows. Great. We've got a, another gardener. Otherwise, um, let's... Looking through here, what do I need here? Combat social is... Likes Klaus a lot. Klaus does not as much. Um, Chit-chat. Okay. Likes handy. And probably just hasn't met the rest yet. So couple of episodes from now we'll go back and look through all this and see how it all levels out and what it means um gear you've got a shirt and pants raccoon and pigskin so you don't have the space age clothing that the rest of them have you're starting to get into into more uh, uh local clothing here um no weapon yet you were neither melee or shooting really We'll, we'll wait for the uh, the weapon for later. Needs need food. You're taking care of that. Urgently hungry. Negative fourteen. That's why I didn't want uh, um, Thomas Lob to, to have to deal with. Otherwise, you've got a bite scar, malnutrition, and a scratched right eye. And that was from Sienna taking you down <clears throat> at this door over here at the very beginning. So that little battle or incident right there is going to. Uh, going to stay with you for the rest of the game otherwise work schedule so let's get you set up on all of the obvious though you have got some doctoring skill so you're seven of 20 for doctoring i'm going to make you a two in, in there just like rabbit where did rabbit go why am i not seeing you or you're down there so you're back to a two and thomas Love is the one on doctoring otherwise your priorities can you craft Craft, you cannot. Okay, 3 of 20. Um, 4 of 20 is Tomislav, and 4 of 20 is Shantigo. Hmm. Craft is what I need for, for block cutting as well, you know, because that's what Handy can do really well. <clears throat> but I need her doing the construction, so, yeah, a little bit of a conflict going on here. We might have to build that wall out of wood. There may be no choice. Hmm. Anyways, finish Kathra here. So, Warden, you're 8 of 20 on your social skills. Make you a 2 in there. Cooking, I'm going to take you down to a 4. You're capable of hauling food, basically. Um, growing, yes. And art, interesting. You could be creating something for us to sell. Maybe that's going to be your primary. But right now, you're now low man on the totem pole. You get to clean. Mm-hmm. Sangria, take you back down to a two on your hauling. And Klaus, yeah, you guys are never going to get to these points anyway, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Rabbit, though. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do that. Let's get you back on growing for now and, and get uh, anything that's harvested. Probably a lot of cotton ready to go, isn't it? 85% grown. That's ready to harvest. Yeah, there's a bunch of harvest that's got to happen. Okay. So that's enough for now. Assign, uh, restrict. Let's do that and let's do this. 
And I do need to eventually get it back into a sign and start working on all of this. Sangria, um... Actually, I've never really done all of this. Yeah, you guys are no. This is a drug-free zone here, unless there is a an absolute need for it. Teetotaler, okay, and no, and no. I've never actually... I talked about it, but I didn't do anything with it. But I want to get in and deal with this one of these days, so that anybody who is... You know, melee or range, you know, you're picking up specific things meant for you. But now is not the time for that. What is it the time for? I guess let's get this set up. Though I'm thinking about doing it in two phases then. Put up a wood one, then build a stone one behind it. And just get by with something for now. Because, you know, we get pirates dropping in with grenades. They're going to just grenade that wall and walk right through it if it's wood. So that's not... A great deterrent, but I don't see an easy way to make blocks right now. I really don't. So let's come off of this corner then and go to something like that. No, let's use that. Let's go up to there. Is that where it just was? Nope, that works. You're going to go to there. Okay, and go to there. So I guess I'll have to do this. And then you're going to drop in like so. Okay, and we will door to there, door there, and there. You guys can walk out that way, you can walk out this way, and somewhere in the middle, you know, like there. Although that puts you into, is that mud? Rich soil, it's all rich soil. We need a garden right there. That's, that's some good spots. So with that, we can then plan in some kind of... Well, we need to get a defense system in here. We've got we to gotta really kind of set this whole area up. We need power out here. We need a turret to hit this guy. Probably a turret to defend the turret that's going to be hitting that. Because they're going to immediately come in here and start tackling this turret while another one is shooting him from somewhere else. Sandbags around for us to get behind. Yeah, there's, there's a lot to do here. Um, rabbits bringing in one of the last things meant for hunting. There's still more wild boars out there. We could try setting up a tame, but Sangria's taming is not really up there yet. <clears throat> Character. Animals, only six. Rabbit was nine and with a heavy passion for it. But he's too busy doing other things right now. So, how's his mood? Because he gets mood bonus if he is doing something he has a passion for, but... Hmm... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta think about that. Gotta think about that. Where's Handy right now? Handy is grabbing some food, and she's probably gonna go work on this. But we are 50-some minutes into, we're getting close to that. And I don't want to be running these hour-long episodes anymore. It makes it hard to watch. Even though, once you get into it, you don't want it to turn off. Vort, how you doing? So I need to shut this down soon. But we do need to, to see what else has to be done here. Let's micromanage this area here. Let's get Tomislav, let's haul these out. Haul this one. Shantigo, stop. <clears throat> and haul this one. Handy, I'll leave you alone. I want to get that shirt made. Let's haul these out of here and let's do a little bit of cleaning in here. Just get them out into here and then stop. Tomislav, come and do this one. Haul that one out of there. Build complete t-shirt. Handy, just drop it right there. Come over here and clean. Actually, come over here and build a wood floor. Okay. So, Tomislav. <laughs> Santa is bringing the meals in that I couldn't get anybody else to carry in. Good job. Clean this one for me. And I feel like I lost somebody. That's Tomislav. Where did Shantico go? Did he sneak right past me? Oh, you, you did sneak past me. I didn't want you to take it all the way over there. Well, okay. You you do what you do. Tomislav's going to take care of the cleaning. Handy is going to get this one uh, built. And we'll get this little room finished. Finally. All right. Tomislav, anything else to do here? Um, nope. I think we're fine. But Handy, I would really appreciate it if you finished that. Nope. Ignore the cooler for now. Let's see if we can't get these things built. Even if I have to do this one step at a time. Let's get these built. 
I could find a way to make this work automatically, but by the time I figured that out, I could have just done this and got it done. Right there, and this one. <clears throat> then I want you to do this one. Okay, so that is done. And where's a rabbit? Where's a rabbit? You should be out here doing cotton, right? Rabbit. You are still hunting. Are we not done with the hunting yet? There weren't that many wild boars on the map. Right, we've got to be done with hunting now. Got to. Rabbit is going to do that. And then I want you to hold down the shift and sow area. Put a, put a daffodil in there. Daylily. Yeah. And then we're done with that. Fort, how are you doing now? Food is a problem. You're taking care of that. Rest is a problem. Let's take... Let's think about beds real quick. Normal. Shoddy. Normal. This one goes away. Um, uninstall. And let's get a... Uh, we need to get a bed for... Cathra, you are cleaning blood. Great. After you cannot prioritize, not assigned to construct. Okay, work. Cathra, right there, you get a handle now. Hunt. Construct. You get a four there. You get a four. You get a two on plant cut. Uh, Smith, Taylor, craft, hall. How'd that get missed? Well, because I set you to that one. Okay. And I want to say. Oh, you already are set for doctor. Okay. Do that. And, Cathra, how about bringing your own bed over there? Getting that set up. Okay. Now, I want a bed in here. Rabbit is going to do what? You're going to sew that one. Okay. Who can haul a bed for me so I can be done with this? What do we have over here? I zoom in close enough. It doesn't tell me. So, i got to click. Shoddy. There was one down here that was good. Poor. Hmm. Shoddy, shoddy. These are all worthless. Okay. Um, that one's been hauled. Normal. Good. Well, Cathra went to sleep over here. We didn't even see that. Okay. So, this one is going to be uninstalled. No, it's going to be reinstalled over here. Uh, e. Okay, we can get two more in here. Put it right there. Alright, so with that, Rabbit, you can uninstall. Klaus, you are making kibble. No, you're going to deliver this bed. And Rabbit is going to go hunting a turkey. Where did that turkey go? Right there? Hmm. Alright. We'll do it. I want to get the wall built probably next episode so we can hunt these deer and have a place to uh, to run back to if they go berserk on us. All right, with that, the door's in. This is now indoor 70 degrees like it's supposed to be. All right, and he's going to take care of that, which is what you want to do all along. Shantigo is going to stop this little routine here. He's going to halt. No, you're going to haul the fine meal in. And... Okay, I guess that's the closest place. Hmm, okay. And then you're going to... Oh, Sangria is training ham. Okay, good. Shantigo is going to haul a stack of meat in there. So, haul pork. I thought everything paused because Sangria wasn't moving. But she was training ham. Okay. Okay, you're going to haul that. And then you're going to haul these potatoes. And then you'll be able to finish cooking without even leaving the, the, the bench anymore. And warm clothes and colonist beds. Okay, this this didn't get done, did it? Catherine, where are you? It's being done, okay. All right, and warm clothing, clothing is next time. I already have queued up bills, make dusters, 10 of them. So that's gonna help us get through the winter. As soon as Rabbit, now what is Rabbit actually doing right now? As soon as he gets back to hauling in all this cotton, which I assume is going to be happening real quick. That's right, you're doing the, the last hunt. After that, let's let's watch this happen, then I'm going to take you off of hunting. 
There's another turkey, but he's not queued up. I didn't think this one was even queued up. <laughs> You've got to be a certain distance away. He shot through the wall again. I'm impressed. Okay. Work. Hunt. Rabbit. Make that a three. Okay. The bed was delivered. It is now Cathra's. Right. Psychic Soothe. I told you it was coming. Then we got to turn this episode off. Um... How come colonists need bed needs beds went away, but Cather is not assigned to that one, because she's still assigned to this one. No, because her bed got moved down here and her name stayed on it. No, that's weird. But Cathra, I don't see you. There you are. You're gonna go there and now. That's for real. A psychic soothe. Every colonist of the male gender smiles with contentment. Now, in Alpha 13, this one didn't exist, so it's always a bad thing. But this apparently is a good one. Some distant engine of happiness <laughs> of happiness is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over the entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the male gender. For a few days, some people's moods will be quite a bit better. Well, on that note, Rimworld, thank you. And I'm going to call this one done, because... I have got so many things that are half finished. I need to go back and watch this and make notes and figure out what I need to do next time. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.